Hey, this is Daryl from Modern Work Mentor. I'm going to answer a question that I do get a lot when people see my videos and they say, hey, you've got the Loop web app installed. How did you do that? So I'll show you a couple of ways to do this um, within uh, the different web browsers, your preference about how you'd like to do this. We'll start off with Google Chrome because that seems to be uh, quite popular, of course. So let's take a look at Google Chrome. We are right there. We're signed into Microsoft 365. Um, and so as our landing page, you might have got used to finding your web apps over here in the apps category or module. And loop uh, is right here in the middle. So first of all, let's make it easy for us to find when we open up Microsoft 365 as a web app. Uh, so that's down the bottom and we'll drag that up so that we can get to it. Okay, so opening the loop web app Okay, uh, we'll sign in, uh, and of course we're already signed into Microsoft 365, so this doesn't quite do like a, a smooth pass through, but um, here we are, we're using it as a web app, we're still clearly in Chrome. Now, uh, if you haven't cottoned on to this yet, you can install some websites as their own app. Uh, so if we go uh, to the far right of Chrome at the address bar, we've got that option here to install Loop. So we're confirming it, install it, and what that does is it opens it up in its own window and it gives it a bit more presence, a bit more focus. Notice down in the bottom of my taskbar, that I've got the Loop app, the window open. It's not now just in Chrome. It's It feels like it's its own app. And uh, what it's also offering here is, do you want to pin that to your taskbar as well so that it's easy to find next time? All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, well, that was Chrome, Google Chrome. What about Chromium, which is uh, Microsoft Edge? Well, oh, Edge is using that. So minimize, minimize, here we go, here is, here's Edge. Okay, same again. I might just refresh this because I have pinned the app to my uh, list of apps right here. Cool, there it is. Funny how it doesn't lift the loop app to where I had it beforehand. But there we go. Launching it in Microsoft Edge. Signing in, confirming that's the account, yep, and we're faced with the same landing page. Again, we're still in Edge, we've got our tabs open, but here's the same option over here on the far right of the address bar. We'll launch that. Now this time we're going to have a couple more options to make it easier for us to find our Loop app in a Windows environment. Um, we will click Install. Okay, it's opened up in its own window, but now we've got some, just a few more options. It's offering to pin it to the taskbar, like it did for Google Chrome earlier. It's also offering to pin to start. And one of the other things I like here too, is if, if you are into using Loop a lot for taking notes, then maybe you want it to open automatically when you start your machine. So I'll go with that option as well. All right, so we'll zoom back out here. What happens? Well, we get that same prompt that we saw with uh, Google Chrome earlier when we installed the app, and this is just confirming, yes, we want to pin it to our taskbar. Now here we are at the bottom of our screen, whoop, um, and absolutely no difference between the way that these two will work, right? So depending on your preference, maybe you like to use a Chrome uh, more than Edge, then go ahead and you know, install loop uh, that way. Um, and look, the main point here is that it gives it more presence on your desktop. So um, I can see it, it's a window, it's open, it's clearly loop, it's not just a tab in a browser. Uh, and that's why I uh, like to install it that way. It gives it more focus on the app that I'm trying to use. So a quick video to show you how to do that across the two different uh, browser preferences. I'm not sure how it uh, behaves in, in other browsers like Opera, might have the same uh, option. But uh, yeah, hopefully that has been helpful. It's a pretty simple tip, but it, it does really help you to use uh, Microsoft Loop a lot more because it's got more presence on your desktop. Catch you again. Bye for now.